Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me on another craft beer review. So today I have a Belgian style farmhouse ale. It is brewed by Door County Brewing Company and they're based out of Bailey's Harbor and Black River Falls, Wisconsin. So here it is. It is called their classic pastoral farmhouse ale. It says of the land for the people. And it is a farmer probably holding his pitchfork. Hm. So I opened it up, had a hard time with the smell. It just wasn't really strong. And so I poured it into my glass. As you see, the color, it's kind of a murky, light golden color, not real clear. Now the smell. I couldn't quite place it. I The first thing I thought was kind of earthy. No, not like a dirt smell or a fresh out in a grass field smell, but it actually smelled like the grass or hay, vegetably. I, it was very peculiar to me, so I couldn't quite place it. But maybe since it says of the land, maybe I have it right and they got it right for it to smell very outdoorsy. I haven't been on a farm since I was a little girl and the last smell I smelled there was of manure. And it doesn't smell like poop. <laughs> so it just smells earthy. <laughs> so what Door County has to say online, which I have to add, was very well written. It actually made me think I was about to read a really fantastic short story, something inspiring. So I have to hand it to him. It was very well written. It's a little lengthy, but I appreciate good writing. So it's about your everyday man. The dirt underneath his fingernails is not just a constant, but a comfort. He wakes and dawns with the sun, he farms his own land and he brews his own beer. Not just any beer, a traditional Belgian style farmhouse ale. In Door County, hard seasonal workers forged our heritage, pastoral in a celebration of the seasons and the land, from farmhouses past to fields present, both refreshing and dry with hints of pepper, citrus, and green grass. The recipe is not just about the beauty in simplicity, but also the pride in tradition. See? Very well written. Now, when they say the whole green grass, I mean, I'm, I'm getting that in there, but more of like a, a hay smell. <laughs> so, let's just see how simplicity comes through in their flavor and tradition. Cheers. Hmm. Okay. So right away, you get a little bit of that citrus, a little bit of a zest. And then you get that peppery smell, uh, taste. It's almost right away and in the middle of my mouth. From the middle to the back, I can't quite place it. I've never had that taste, that flavor before in a beer. And I've had a Belgian style beer or two. That is quite different. I'm going to try it again. I don't want to give him a really bad score. <laughs> hmm. I can't quite place it. I don't know how to describe it to you. I'm sorry. That earthy smell is coming in so strong in my mouth. It's not very pleasing to my palate. It's going to have to take a very peculiar palate to appreciate the taste. So, I mean, if somebody out there, one of you viewers, wants to go find this and try it, let me know what you think. 
I would love to hear what others have to say about all this craft beer I'm trying. It's just so different. I, I'm not a big fan. It's going to be really hard to score. <sighs> Zero to ten? Six and three quarters. I can't go any higher than that. That taste, it's just still kind of lingering in my mouth. I, and like it goes right back to the front of my mouth. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Not my thing. So I think I'll go back and into my fridge and grab myself a Robinson Brewery's Trooper. <laughs> a favorite in my household. So everybody, come back tomorrow. Bring your friends. Check out Jenny Smith, A Beer A Day on YouTube. It's fun. Have a wonderful night. I will see you tomorrow. Good night.